final practice is over and uh, a little bit of work still to do ahead of the race uh, tomorrow. But um, Jeff, what's the plan now going into qualifying? A successful test out there on the track and the dry. Yeah, it was finally good to get some dry running. Uh, yesterday was pretty much uh, rained out for us. We skipped the first two practices and just did our minimum uh, nighttime practice uh, last night. So we got a little bit of running, confirmed what we had found out on Wednesday and Monday and Sunday. So uh, cars are pretty good, ran through all the drivers so they got used to the to the conditions because they haven't had some any dry running for a while. So uh, yeah, it was a good practice. So what's going to happen between now and qualifying? Uh, the guys will just go check it, uh, check the cars on the setup pad, put the qualifying fuel in it. Um, we're not really looking for too many too many setup changes. We'll go have a little meeting here with the drivers and you know just get their final thoughts. Um, the HPD guys will tweak the traction control a little bit. We've been working on that, and uh, no big changes. Good luck, guys. Mr. Cosmo. Good. Uh, How are you, buddy? Good Great to see you, man. You. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks, Thanks, Have a good weekend. Weekend. So it's the final qualifying of the year, and Ryan Briscoe and Guy Cosmo have got qualifying duties for level five. Guy, it was always going to be a pretty tough qualifying session today. Was there anything more you could have done, do you think? You know, there's always more you can do. Uh, any driver that says, ah, oh, that's all the car had, he's, he's lying. But... Uh, it was close, you know. I mean, it was the quickest lap I've turned all week, and with the rain and whatnot and trying to sort out tire strategy for the race, you know, ultimately we need to run 10 hours and we need to be strong come nine hours tomorrow. So uh, I feel we had a good performance in qualifying. We knew going in that we were focused more on our race setup than just trying to put out the best lap we could in qualifying. So I'm feeling confident about the race tomorrow. Yeah, I always wish I could go faster in qualifying, but... Uh, I think we're in the window for where we need to be and our, our main focus is bringing it home tomorrow. So Ryan, a really strong, solid job out there during qualifying, but it's always going to be pretty tricky. The times were really close today. Yeah, it was really close. Uh, we had a great car, you know, and set the quickest time out there. So I don't know if it stands with the running out of fuel on the last lap. So we're either first or second. Um, I'm unfortunate if we don't get the pole, but uh, great job by everybody. And uh, we have a really fast car, so, you know, we always treat treat qualifying as its own event and uh, there's a lot of pride in trying to get the quickest lap. During the race is the biggest thing going to be managing the traffic and, and the tyres effectively? Yeah absolutely and um, you know we're on the Michelins, uh, we have all sorts of different compounds of tyres that we have to go through um, so there's going to be lots of tyre management throughout the day. It's a, it's a pretty twisty circuit here, it's quite narrow so traffic plays a big part. It's a short lap as well so you're always in traffic. Um, so yeah, you know, it'll be exciting. Um, we'll be we'll be uh, you know going through all the driver changes and doing some pretty long stints, I think. So um, hopefully the weather's nice and we have a good day. Jeff, a little bit of confusion at the end of that qualifying session. So how has it ended up? Well, we ended up second and third with our cars. Um, we had fueled the cars for a specific number of laps, and then a red flag came out, and so we used some fuel coming in for that red and going back and warming up. So we actually did our best lap on what would have been our in-lap, but we tried it anyway. Ryan set a, the pole time, but he couldn't get around to the back to the pits, ran out of fuel on track, which we thought may have happened because we should have come in a lap earlier. And the rule is if you cause a red flag during qualifying, you lose your fastest time. So it took our fastest time away, gave us our second fastest time, so we ended up second by a tenth. We have a nine and a half hour race. That's about the most insignificant thing that's happened to us all weekend. 